Hey guys, my name is Caitlin and I work for Verba Software. Thank you for taking the time to learn about the Verba Collect system. This video is geared toward departmental administrators, deans, administrative assistants, and anybody else that has access to many different courses in the Collect system. Logging into the system can happen in two separate ways. You can either create a password for yourself or you can log in via what's known as a hash code. So every semester the bookstore will send to you an email that looks very similar to this and you'll receive this really big long link. This section of the link corresponds to your information. So if you click it, it'll take you directly into the interface. So no need to remember your password, no need to remember a login. You can access it clicking this link right here. Of course, if you prefer passwords, you would just go to your website, input your email address, input your password, and then click log in. The new system has all of the same functionalities, but it looks a whole heck of a lot prettier. So the first thing you notice is that you're still able to toggle between different terms. There are the same terms listed, and you can click here, Fall 2012, for instance. That changes the stat counts right here. So these are the stat counts for the entire term, not just for the sections that you guys are able to edit and modify. Currently as a reviewer, I'm looking at 43 courses. So I'm looking at every single course and you can tell that that's what's happening because this all sections is highlighted right here. So Anthropology 100 goes all the way down to page two all the way Anthropology 674 here. I can click Previous and then that'll bring me back to the original page. I'm also able to filter by a couple of different aspects. So I can click Incomplete Sections, for instance. What that's gonna do is it's gonna show me any classes that still require submission. So this I would still need to submit a course on. You're also able to look at submitted sections. So sometimes uh, a university will have a workflow where instead of submitting the books yourselves, you're actually looking at information from a professor. So a professor submits the information, you make sure that it looks good to go, and then you actually click the reviewed button. So in that particular workflow, you are actually reviewing information. That's not necessarily the case at all universities. At some universities, you're merely submitting the information yourself instead of having to review information that came in from another person. So you can use either one of these filters to use those workflows. I'm also able to use some advanced filters. So for instance, I would like to view all submitted, reviewed, and approved sections. Basically anything that has books attached to it. Doesn't matter what level it is in the process, I'd like to make sure that I get a list of all of this information. I can then act on those filtered sections. I can export. So what that's going to do is it's going to export the courses. It's going to email you with that information in an Excel format. So you just open it up in Excel. Just FYI, this page is going to be changing soon as well. Um, this video is coming out in March, so we're putting that, putting that out there with all the changes to the dashboard. We are going to be changing this screen right here by April of 2013. So this is going to be getting some interface updates as well. Again, we're going to make it a lot easier on the eyes. We're going to make the functionality a lot better, and it's hopefully going to be a whole lot more intuitive. So the goal is to make it much easier to use. We're going to keep a lot of the functionality, but just make it, make it simpler, basically. So expect these changes in April of 2013. One question that I get often that I should point out, this is not functionality changes, but it's something that you might find interesting. If you don't have a password, but you don't have your hash code link anymore, you can click here that says help. I lost slash don't have a password. I can put in my email and I can click recover. And then it will send me my hash code again. So I can basically request that email if I don't have it saved anymore. Thank you guys for attending. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to contact your bookstore. They can relay the message. Uh, and we will be more than happy to take a look at what you're seeing. Thank you very much again, and have a fantastic day.